So here in the show me palette, we have the Gantt chart. And if you are aware, Gantt chart is basically helpful in visualizing project management activities as uh, there are multiple activities in one project which are interrelated and uh, along with the dates about their start and completion. So having them visualized is going to make an impact or basically helps, uh, let's say, project manager to really evaluate whether the project ha activities have been assigned properly, are they properly interrelated and in a manner uh, about how they should be executed. So here in this example, I will I do not have uh, the project management example, but what I have is basically uh, an example about uh, shipment delays uh, or the time it takes to ship the item. So it's kind of a second uh, kind of a chart that we are trying to create here with the help of the Gantt chart, which will probably give you an idea about apart from project management, where else you can use it. All right. So for that, uh, as it requires, it needs one date, one or more dimension and zero or two measures. So let's start selecting it. So for shipping information, we need ship date. So we will put ship date over here and we need days. And then here we need category. So let's say we want to do it by product subcategory. And uh, then what we need is days to ship actual. So that is something we need it under, let's say size, because size will basically indicate whether it is taking more days or less days all right and uh, then uh, we need to bifurcate it by the shipping mode so that's the key so let me put it on the color and then select the Gantt chart when I select the Gantt chart uh, you will notice that subcategory and shipping mode is uh, interchanged. So let me change it again. Sorry, color mode. All right. And one thing I need to correct is basically not this table, but the this particular day, which indicates the date to properly show the visualization so here you know the visualization is present for entire data that means starting from november 1 to november 17 and by just looking at the data what i can see is uh, we can see a lot of standard class and second class the bars are really big for that so to better understand let's try to filter it by shipping date let's filter it by an year click next and let's select 2017 and okay all right now in this case it is much better and again you know we are able to see that standard class and the second class is pretty much uh, uh, coming a lot and there are very few same day i can see it down here same day if i'm not correct if i'm not wrong uh, just very very few places and then uh, first class is also appearing in some cases it is uh, coming up with a very big bar so that shows basically how much time the different shipping mode categories are really taking to to you know ship the or to uh, to ship the a particular item in the category so with the help of such chart which has the dimension as uh, as the time so it's basically helps us understanding the those kind of data which is distributed over time and uh, kind of interrelated or uh, or basically has the interdependencies to to really have an execution but here this is a sep altogether separate example that i've given you just to visualize the data uh, to understand the the delays in shipment so apart from this you can uh, also have you also think through about the different visualization that you can achieve with the help of the Gantt chart. It's just that it needs to be distributed over time and uh, need to have uh, uh, some, some sort of uh, dependencies or if not dependencies, then, uh, then some sort of a connectivity which will help user connecting the data or connecting the dots properly from the visualization. 
so that's that's pretty much all i have to tell you uh, from the can chart video and i'll meet you in the new video the new topic